and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. U.S. adds threat of missile or drone attacks to UAE travel advisory. United Arab Emirates, UAE, that was already at the highest threat level on a U.S. list of risky destinations, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, just had a new potential threat added by the U.S. officials. The U.S. recently raised the travel advisory for most countries around the world, including neighboring Canada, to do not travel due to COVID-19. There are four levels of warning, the lowest being exercise normal precautions. Today, the United States Department of State added the new potential threat of missile or drone attacks to its UAE travel advisory. The possibility of attacks affecting U.S. citizens and interests in the Gulf and Arabian Peninsula remains an ongoing, serious concern, the U.S. Department of State warned. Rebel groups operating in Yemen have stated an intent to attack neighboring countries, including the UAE, using missiles and drones. Recent missile and drone attacks targeted populated areas and civilian infrastructure. The update came 10 days after a drone and missile attack claimed by Yemen's Houthi rebels killed three people in Abu Dhabi. Another missile attack targeting the UAE capital on Monday temporarily disrupted air traffic. The U.S. military reportedly helped intercept two Houthi missiles on Monday that were aimed at Al Dhafra Air Base, which hosts approximately 2,000 American service members. In response to the American travel warning, an Emirati official said that the UAE remains one of the most secure countries. This is not going to be the new normal for the UAE, the official said. We refuse to acquiesce to the threat of Houthi terror that targets our people and way of life. The Houthi militants recently started directly targeting the UAE, a key ally of Saudi Arabia, which is leading a bombing campaign against the Houthis. The Saudi-led and U.S.-backed coalition intervened in Yemen in 2015 to push back the Houthi rebels, who had taken over most of the country, including the capital Sana'a, and to restore the Gulf-backed government of President Abd Rabu Mansur Hadi. While the UAE said it has withdrawn its troops from Yemen, the Houthi militants have accused the country of backing anti-rebel forces across the country. The Houthis have said the attacks against the UAE are in retaliation to what they called U.S.-Saudi Emirati aggression. UAE will be an unsafe state as long as its aggressive escalation against Yemen continues, a Houthi military spokesperson said after the deadly attack on Abu Dhabi on January 17. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.